Yeah. Okay then, those were the black crows who uh, weren't half bad, were they? They weren't still exist, though, were they? No, they weren't as quick butty in the rock and roll face as that, Mark. You're right. Yeah, okay, <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. But listen, apart from being all fun and frivolity and still being there and Keith loving pit bulls and all that kind of thing, uh, of course, there's also current affairs. And we go over for a new flash to our news deck now. Yes, of course. Yesterday, we had some devastating news about John Major resigning as the leader of the Conservative Party. He will be reinstated. You know, Keith Allen was a roving reporter around the site to ask people what they thought. Yeah, and over he there. went there. No, he went there. And he right. went there. What are you no, doing? No, there. He went 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 there. He is Mike Cocaine. No, it's not. My name is Keith Allen. And here I am, John, aboard one of the great flagships of free enterprise culture. And I'm going nowhere. Because I don't need you, John. I'm here. This is Glastonbury. The place where they say airline pilots reroute, just on the off chance of getting a whiff in their air conditioning system. Where they say if you don't stay for four or five days and you go back to London or wherever you live, then save and keep your hairs in a little glass. You'll never have to buy illegal substances again, ever. You just look at them. John, this is Glastonbury. This is a festival. But for a person like you, it's probably a constituency. There's 600 acres, with about 180,000 people. It's quite a fair to large town. Let's go and find out, if you sit for Parliament here, what the people think about you. See if you've got a chance. Look at the police. You'll love it. There are no gold keys. You've got policemen. Yeah. Oh, he's rich. Do you know who John Major is? Yeah, yeah. Do you know his design? Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about that? Look at the camera. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> what do you think about John Major designing? <laughs> got a vote there, John? Yeah. Quick word. What? Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, just like yeah, that. Yeah, you know who John Major is? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. He's just resigned. How'd you feel? <laughs> Have you ever heard of John Major? Unfortunately, yeah. You know he's just resigned? Has he? Has he? John, possibly or not. Yeah, he's resigned. Yeah. yeah. And Douglas Hurd. Oh, well, I agree. How'd you feel? I'm elated. I'm elated. John, stop working. <laughs> you know something? I bet you're a nice guy, really. But you must be so depressed. You just watch that. People don't like you. Because they don't understand you, John, and you don't understand them. This is not an alternative culture. This is how it is. This is what it's like. So what better place to come than Glastonbury? You're tense, you're nervous, people hate you, you're feeling repressed, a little bit small. Come here. Why not get a few pricks in you as opposed to around you? And bring Douglas. It's about relaxing. It's about knowing yourself it's about being confident look at it john that could be you and norma think about it what do you think of tony blair think <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what do you think of tony blair he's tony blair thank you you're gonna be really honest what do you think of tony blair better, yeah how much better the next Prime Minister. No, I'm really representing the next Prime Minister of the UK. Thank you very much. Thank what do you think of Tony Blair? Oh, what a report. Expand your mind, John. That's the game. Come here, learn something that you didn't know before. I mean, look at this. Just look at this. Look at what this guy's done, right, with a load of steel. Just imagine if you'd brought your oil rig all the way up to Glastonbury. What would Alan? What would people do? This is Alan, right? This is all your game, yeah? Yeah, yeah, with these other guys. Right. If I bought you an oil rig, a massive oil rig, John, and gave it to you, what would you do with it? Uh, I'm not sure what sort of sculpture I'd do, but I think we could get some really big metal out there. And you'd get a lot of herd of elephants, I think. Herd of elephants, John. A herd of elephants. A Douglas herd of elephants. So, John, come on down. You've seen the facility. It's absolutely fantastic. Why don't you bring Norma? Bring Douglas? Don't worry about the traffic, because here I'm standing in the middle of what do looks like a field, but in fact it's a cleared space, it's a helicopter landing pad. 
Why don't you bring the cabinet? Why don't you hire a fleet of helicopters and bring the Tory government? Because here, you will learn something. It's not necessarily alternative. It definitely is a part of the future. Come on down, darling. There's only one thing they haven't got here, and it's a lottery machine. So I've got to say this one thing. Joanna Lumley, will you please put my lottery numbers on? Thank you. Oh, and before we go, don't get too smug, Mr. Blair. Just don't get too smug. There you go, Keith Allen with the Glastonbury referendum. Now, uh, one of the highlights of these programs...